Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today is a very very simple recipe with potato and mushrooms. We are going to make a recipe, and we always try to make the potato. You know, just we'll toss some potato in a chili powder, and sometimes we add methi and we cook it. Have you ever tried baking a potato and having it? If you have not tried, you can just try. We bake the potato, you know, into slices and we add some cream, cheese and everything and we bake it. But how we make a curry, we don't make it in that way. Today we are going to make it in the oven. So here I have the bowl. In this first, I am going to add the fresh, finely chopped garlic, lot of it. So here is the garlic and in this we are going to add pepper powder. You can add as per taste dear friends the pepper powder and some lime juice. You can add one and a half teaspoon of lime juice. Depending upon the quantity you can keep increasing your ingredients and we are going to add some olive oil around same one and a half teaspoon of olive oil and don't forget to add salt. We are not going to add too much salt very less initially and mix this and also butter you can add one cube of butter or two cubes of butter as I said increase the quantity depending upon how many potatoes and how many mushrooms you are taking and first mix this and if you want you can melt the butter and add also this is slightly room temperature so I can mix this and this I'm going to keep aside and we're going to add lot of coriander if you have parsley you can use parsley but today I don't have it so I'm using some fresh coriander just finely chop it you can add lot of coriander and we're going to use this into our dish you can add one full bunch or two full bunches add it into your butter and olive oil mixture Lot of people you know in nowadays are uh, using olive oil for healthy purpose so if you want you can use olive oil if you don't want you can use butter and even the oil also. Olive oil gives that you know different taste so I have added olive oil if you want to skip you can skip it and now this also you mix it and now goes in the potatoes. Here is the potatoes. I cut it into cubes like this. If you want, you can cut it into big cubes also. So this is a medium size cubes. Just remove all the moisture. Just remove all the excess water. So here is the all the potatoes. Just add it. These are the raw potatoes. I did not uh, boil it. If you want, you can uh, parboil the potatoes, but I have not boiled the potatoes. And now we are going to add the mushrooms also. So here I have the mushrooms. I am going to cut these also into slightly big pieces because I don't want the mushroom to be too soggy or too soft. I want the mushroom pieces to be seen. So here is the mushroom. Just cut it into two. If you are baking mushrooms, so it won't take much time. So that's why I am cutting in big pieces. And now add these mushrooms into this. You can add how much ever you want and mix this and I have mixed this perfectly and at this point of time you can adjust the salt also I initially I added very less salt if you want you can add it but this is perfect for me because uh, we added olive oil and the butter so we have slight flavor from the butter and the olive oil so don't add too much of salt and in this we are going to add very little of broth that is chicken broth or even vegetable broth you can use today I'm making a vegetarian dish so I'm adding the vegetable broth broth is nothing but a stock we are going to add around two tablespoons of broth this way what happens our potato will cook perfectly there is some moisture so it will cook perfectly if you are cooking in the oven so add it and now this goes into the oven and we are going to bake this at 180 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes it will take around uh, 25 to 30 minutes and before removing it we are going to sprinkle some parmigiana cheese on top and we are going to bake it for another five minutes and then we'll get an excellent baked potato so friends here you can see our potato and mushroom have baked perfectly 
and I'm going to just show you one piece and you can see a lot of moisture. This is because we added the stock and you can see this is cooked perfectly. It's not overcooked, it's not mashed. Still I can feel the bite. It should be like this. At this point of time, we are going to add the cheese. That is the Parmesan cheese. Just sprinkle on top, how much ever you want. And now again, this will go back into the oven for another five to eight minutes. Then you'll get slight color and then the dish is ready. This goes excellent with rotis or even with bread, this goes excellent. So either you can serve this as an accompaniment or just like that also you can serve or otherwise with a nice uh, chicken piece and just give this potato, baked potato and dear friends, this will be amazing. So I'm going to bake this for another eight minutes. So friends, here you can see the baked potato and the mushrooms have perfectly cooked and the mushrooms have got nice color because mushroom cooks very, very fast. And even the potato, it took around 30 to 35 minutes, dear friends. So this is ready to serve. If you want, you can just serve just like this with a bread slice beside or even you can take one bread slice and put it on top and cover it and give it as a sandwich also. And you can have this with rice also. I'm going to serve this. The potato, we baked it and the potato is perfectly baked. It's not too soft, not too hard. And we have slight moisture that is from the butter and the stock. When you're baking this, if you want, you can seal with a silver foil or even you can cover it with a lid and bake this. And if you add little bit of fish pieces in this, you will get an excellent uh, fish and potato baked uh, dish, dear friends. We need to get an ideas to make different kinds of uh, recipes. If you get ideas, then you can become an excellent, excellent chef. This is ready to serve. So friends, when this is hot itself, you need to have this. Very, very nice. An excellent aroma of butter and the olive oil. Ah, potato, perfect. And mushroom, perfect. Don't waste this bowl, dear friends. Don't throw away. You have lot of flavors in this. So what you can do is just take a bread slice or even rice and we do it in our house. I love to eat like that. So just take the rice or the bread slice, scrape off and have it. You will get an excellent taste. If you want that, you can just try it out. I'm telling you, you will also love it. I hope you enjoyed this simple session of baked potato and mushroom. If you like it, make it, share it and also feed your family fresh food. See you in another session with some more recipes.